So, ideas don't come just full-blown out of nothing, do they? No, there's small changes that you made. Uh, here's the notebook entry. Yeah. And here's sort of Ray Freeman's drawing. Oh. And he called it a prayer wheel, and yeah. the technician called it a wheel of fortune. So yeah, you see I there's see, a difference so. of opinion there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, the idea was that uh, you had this wheel, which either could be a cylinder or it could mm -hmm. be a disc, yeah. and each each section had a different number of stripes on it, yeah. okay. either by making it different size or different spacing anyway. Mm -hmm. And then as you turn it, you have a light that... Uh, shines through the spacing and a bunch of photo detectors and mm -hmm. that generates the frequencies here and you apply mm -hmm. that to the to the probe after you beat it up and then to go the other way you take the the signal from the probe and you um, here it is and and you um, light you, you you modulate a lamp and then mm -hmm. detect it and yeah. then then you have these and the spacing uh, if if it's if the spacing like a, like is a, right it selects like a stroboscope that's if, right it's, it selects if the that one component spacing right it stands still well anyway that uh, never went anywhere except to the Smithsonian as one step yeah. along the way to a practical Fourier so, transform so, system so, so the, if, if you look at the innovative process. We're starting with Fourier some yeah. years ago, <laughs> and then Michelson, and then uh, a modification and, of it, and, yeah, and, and then what was, what was the final step? Because I think it's a fairly practical system. Yeah, the, the final step was my idea of using a computer to do it, uh, because then you can, well, uh, let me see, I have it. 